Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of Teen Questions. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Uh, it's been about almost three weeks, and uh, mostly it's because uh, my father went on holiday to Cyprus and took the camera you're seeing uh, me on right now with him, and uh, I could only use this to record my actual phone. And unfortunately, the quality is much lower, and you know, I don't want to do that, um, so I'd wait until he'd come back to use this camera again. Um, so I can continue doing real life content again, which is pretty cool. I look forward to doing that. I've got some skit ideas, silly little shorts to do. Um, one other thing that I should mention is uh, thank you for all the artwork. It's been absolutely insane. But a big question that I've been getting from the email is that they're not sure what to make me. Like they're talented and they know what they know they want to do something, but they're just not sure what. Um, so my advice would be to go onto my video list. Like, sorry, but um like uploaded videos and you'll see a, all the list of videos and they've got like little thumbnails next to them now you could make thumbnails if you like for uh, let's say my metro series i've been making those my, myself using artwork from the game and just playing in hollow plays this week that's not like amazing but if you thought well let's make something to do with hollow to do with metro and you know whatever then there's your idea for something to make um the map extravaganza thumbnail is uh, me and Rage looking through like spy glasses to like examine maps. That makes sense, and it's our Minecraft skins, and we're in like a Minecraft cave, and that looks really cool. So, you know, whatever you want to do, I'm always happy to accept it. So the email's always in the description and should be on screen now. Generationhollow at gmail dot com, and send anything you want to that and ask questions and stuff. Sometimes I respond on there, but uh, the team questions that I get on there I can't really look at because I go through the comments on my videos. So anyway, without all that guff. Let's start the show. Our first question of today comes from Caesar Otis. How would you come up with the name Generation Hollow? Well, my alias was Hollow for reasons I've already explained. I think in the first episode of Teen Questions, uh, go check that out. Um, but basically, I don't know. We were playing around with ideas, and it's like General Hollow and like you know fucking Captain Hollow and King Hollow, and these things are taken, and you know they're not very catchy. You don't want to really remember that, would you? Um, I was just talking about it. This was back when I was using the channel PZ93 and I wanted to start again and really go for it, like look at it properly and make a video a lot more with a lot more effort and you know, a bit more professionalism. And uh, I just decided Generation Hollow made sense because what I want to do with my channel is make it about me and everything that I do in my entire life and trying to change and be a better person and like be smarter, be stronger, be better at gaming and make more and more friends and just this whole like idea of improving and generations improve as they go along or at least they should do anyway um, you know ev evolution and all that but uh, Generation Hollow improving slowly as we go along better videos and more stuff to do with my life and me as we go along was the idea, so it just made so much sense. And there, there you go, there you go. I think it's, I think it's memorable anyway. Generation Hollow. Jake Blunden asked, uh, "What days are you going to Eurogamer?" P.S. I'm gonna get that high five. Damn right you should. I hope I see you, man. Um, I can't actually remember off the top of my head. I think it's like Saturday, Sunday, 28th, 29th, maybe. Um, otherwise, I'll just put it, I'll put it on screen now when I'm editing it, so you'll see. Just pay attention to the video, and you'll see it on screen. In an attempt to stop the first and second and third comments, uh, I decided to claim the right to first comment before anyone else could, as you can see. And uh, Flifly, I cannot. Fly Fly, Flee Flee, Fly Fly 111 is what I'm calling you. Uh, claimed the left, so there you go, guys. I've got the, the, the right, and then she's, or he has got the left. So, no, I'm sorry, we take, we're full here. Nosy Parker asked Game of Thrones, and I respond with yes, quite, you bastard. Bunch of people getting in on it now. Every time I upload Teen Questions, you got Duke and uh, Muzz Edits, you know, getting a cup of tea every time they watch an episode. And Duke even takes turns, so every time I take a drink, he has to take a drink.
Okay, that's enough. Sorry about that, Duke. That was a bit of torture for you, mate. <laughs> Keep drinking. <laughs> Katie Popwell. Popple? Katie Popplewell. I think that last one was the right one. How much tea do you drink a day? By the way, I now have a drink at least once from a large cup a day because of you. And uh, I, I really did mess that sentence up. We got there in the end. Um, go you. Well done. I'm glad I can have... Uh, the, you know, the system works. The system works. But uh, I have, like, at least three or four cups of tea a day. And sometimes between, like, four and, like, eight. <laughs> I have a lot of tea. It's calming and it's good for you and, you know, ain't nothing wrong with tea. Chanel Smith is back again and uh, doesn't want to marry me anymore uh, because I missed the uh, marriage. Like, I, I didn't show up, apparently. I didn't even know it was going on. And uh, apparently she wants a divorce now, so... Well, I want half the house and um, the puppies are mine as well, so... I mean, you brought this up, I get the better half. I get the better half. Evan Castano, hollow you whore, why aren't you playing <laughs> it was to or Aeon, you ass? Uh, we stopped playing um, Aeon for a little while, uh, shortly after I made that video, which is bad timing, um, because we started playing RuneScape quite a lot. Now we've sort of done with the RuneScape, yeah, we kind of quit, quit now. Um, We'll be playing Aeon again. We've decided that we'll be playing it. Uh, me and Rage will anyway. I'm not sure about, like, Gubiak and, you know, the group and all that. Um, but maybe. Uh, maybe Tide and Common will get involved. But, uh, yeah, me and Rage will be playing Aeon again very, very soon. And we've not played Guild Wars since it came out. I never played it that much because I was working absolutely loads and just did not have time for an MMO. Which kind of sucked. And I missed out on a very good MMO. But, uh, you know, maybe when they bring in expansions for Guild Wars, I'll play it again. Level asked... Did you expect a question here? Kind of. In relation to the last episode, Tybriggs23 asked, If you hate green but love tea, do you like green tea? Now that's a very clever question, and the answer is no. That's that's literally demon demon juice. No, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's it's fine I guess. I'm, just a joke. I mean, I don't really hate the colour green. It's just like, it's a lyric in the song, you know what I mean? You know, a joke. <laughs> Common Bell says, You wish you could talk like me, just because I speak English in a different, better way. Mr. Uber Shroom says, Will you ever stop bragging over you being top 5% in Dota? Now, this is funny, and I only brought this up because it's like a dumb question, but, um, yeah, I mentioned it twice. Both times were in relation to the fact that I'm a Dota player playing LOL and it was like in context and I needed to show that I wasn't awful at Dota and I wasn't awful at LOL and wanted to see like how they worked together. Um, yeah, I mentioned it twice mate. Calm down. Calm down. Django Frost asked, Hollow, what do you think of Rockstar? You're not making Batman Arkham Origins. And, you know, I was a bit disappointed to hear that because, obviously, Rocksteady are awesome. They've made two fucking amazing games that really live up to Batman and how he would be in a game. And, you know, it's a shame. But I have faith in the new company because of the story that they've come up with and the idea and it just looks good, the graphics and all that. But until I see gameplay, I'm holding my actual real opinion. But I think I will give it a go, irrelevant of anything. I just really hope they don't fuck it up. They've talked about how um, you know, they understand how big of a thing they're taking on here, and they're being very careful about it. So, you know, I've got hope. I don't think they're going to fuck it up. But, still, there's that, you know, there's that chance they will. Again, in relation to last episode, oh god, how am I going to say this? JS Elder is, how, is what I'm going to say. JS Elder 11 says, If you like anything related to blue, what about waffles? You gross fuck. For shame. Rice Monster 303 says, Hey Hollow, can I ask a question? That's the question. I don't know, can you ask a question? Yeah, I went there. I went there. Clockman. 3, 2, 11 with the last question of the episode. What do the questions taste like, Hollow? And uh, my only answer is... 
dreams and pain quite a lot of pain some of these questions are quite painful Okay, right, guys thanks for watching uh, remember to leave your uh, questions in the comments down below on this video because I'll go through them uh, remember the email is generationhollow at uh, gmail.com for all your artwork and anything you want to ask or submit and uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time